What is poppin' people? It's your boy Mikey JTV and the mother of a blaze to be in today. We have a should you summon or not video. When new characters come out, I definitely will be doing these types of videos for, and this time it's for Klee. So me being the content creator that I am, I didn't get the footage from the Klee mission. So, you know, it, it just be like that sometimes. But we will go over her build, her not her build, but her character today. So um, Klee is the first pyro AOE mage for Genshin Impact. That automatically puts her in, in, in a good tier. Uh, Genshin.gg has her at A tier here. Much respect right off the bat. Uh, her normal attack, she's basically just lobbing bombs, um, pyro bombs that does AOE damage. D jumpy Dumpty, that's her tons of boom bang fun. When thrown, Jumpy, I cannot say, I want to say Jumpy Dumpty. <laughs> it's Jumpy Dumpty, uh, bounces three times, igniting and dealing AOE pyro damage with every bounce. That's kind of, that's kind of busted. As I'm reading this, that's kind of busted. And honestly, when I played through her story mission, I really wasn't paying attention because the story missions are like, they're whatever. It's not what we're talking about today, but it does pyro damage on every every bounce. And on the third bounce, the bomb splits into many mines. So the mines, the, they, they stick around on the battlefield. And uh, if, you know, an enemy touches it, they, they, you know, they explode like a mine would. And that starts with two charges. So she has two of those, like Sucrose with her first constellation you can um, you can throw that out twice, but this is for free right off the bat. That's dope, that's dope, that's dope. The Jumpty Dumpty damage is 95%, mine damage 33%, and the duration, it, it lasts on the field for 15 seconds. That's, that's a pretty long while. It's a pretty long while. This is one of those characters you can use the instant cooldown book. Um, so I would definitely recommend using that for, you know, for honestly anything. That, that is such a good weapon. That, that weapons, I, I y'all know me for, if, if y'all stuck around to the channel, I live and die by that weapon set. <laughs> but uh, let's let's jump to her ult. Uh, Sparks and Splash, Elemental Burst. Um, Cleaves Blazing Delight for the duration of this ability continuously summons Sparks and Splash to attack nearby enemies de dealing AOE power damage. So she's AOE all the way around. And it lasts for 10 seconds, the cooldown is 15 seconds, and it costs 60 of her energy. Not bad. Her passives, uh, Pounding Surprise Unlocked at Ascension 1. Uh, and when Jumpy Dumpy and normal attacks deal damage, Klee has a 50% chance to obtain an explosive spark. This explosive spark is consumed by the next charge attack, which costs no stamina and deals 50% increased damage. That's not bad. So you ascend her one time and you know you get you get that extra chance for um the the explosive spark. That's not act that's actually not bad. Klee is looking to be a very well-rounded character. I, I I will say, like reading this, I before reading this, I was not I was not really excited to get her. Honestly, I really can't right now because I got so many characters and I got so many things that I want to do with all these characters. But um, I will throw some prime gems at her, but I'll get to my my consensus later on in the video. Sparking Burst, when unlocked at Ascension 4, when a charge attack results in a crit, all party members gain two elemental energy. So she's also a battery when you get her at Ascension 4. That's actually not bad. Okay, okay. All of my treasures unlocked automatically displays the location of nearby resources unique to Mondstadt on the minimap. So it's just unique to Mondstadt? I don't think I like that. Just like, we're not going to be spending a lot of time in Mondstadt, especially like after the Klee banners up, like Leeway's done. We're literally waiting for another area on the map to unlock. So, I mean, I guess Mondstadt is, I don't know, but I guess we should see how they, they do things in the future. I, I I'm, I'm hoping they change some stuff up, but, uh, let's look at our constellations. Um, uh, chain reaction attack skills have certain chance to summon a spark that bombards enemies dealing equal to 120% of Sparks and Splash's damage. Okay. Okay, okay. Remember, this is a five-star character, so these probably aren't going to be unlocked anytime. Explosive Frash being hit by Jumpy, Jumpy Dumpty's mines and decreases enemy defense for 23% by 23% for 10 seconds. That's really good. That is really good. It's not really like the, the cryo effect because it's 23%, but even still, that's that's... 
23% of defense that that's not happening, especially on on the big Hillichurl dudes, like because they they have a lot increased defense, so they're not. Uh, damn man, Klee is looking really good. Klee is looking very good. All right, uh, for the third constellation, increased compound increases the level of Jumpy Dumpty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sparky explosion. If Klee leaves the field during the duration of Sparks and Splash, her departure triggers an explosion. That deals 555% of her attack as AOE? That is busted. That is absolutely busted. And that probably getting her to Constellation 4 would literally throw her in, in double S tier. It literally just throws her into double S tier. 555% of her attack as AOE. That's crazy. That's crazy. All right, and Nova Burst increase, increases the level of Sparks and Splash. And her final constellation, while under the effects of Sparks and Splash, other members of the party will continuously regenerate energy when Sparks and Splash is used. All party members will gain 10% power damage bonus for 25 seconds. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Klee is kind of busted. Did I say that already? I'm gonna say it again. Klee is absolutely busted. That's kind of crazy. And they go into like types of builds that you should put her on. Um, I don't have Skyward Atlas, but I do have Eye of, Eye of Perception and the artifact sets. I'm not even Crimson Witch of Flames. I don't even know what those are or where to get them. But anyway, um, wrapping up, I will say Klee is definitely like, if you get her constellation past four, like she's double S tier. Forget what this says. For, for, for absolutely forget what this says. Um, having her pop her ult, then leave the field for 555% damage in a group setting. If you get Sucrose or Venti together and they mob that up, you mob them up, grab, grab Klee, pop her ult and dip out and then go into Diluc. I mean, whew, that's crazy. Mob, the mob what mob? <laughs> but anyway, my final verdict is for, for uh Klee is uh go ahead and summon don't go don't go balls deep don't go you know crazy with the summons but go ahead and summon for her see if you can get her and um she will be a great addition to your team as of reading all of this i didn't know all that was going on in the background while i was playing her story mission like she's busted she's absolutely busted and uh if I get her, I get her. If I don't, I don't. I'm not sure what they're doing with the summon things. Like, so Venti ban Venti's banner is going away soon, probably either today or tomorrow, depending on when you're watching this video. Um, as of as of this video, but I don't know if Venti's going into the regular rotations of things via Epic Seven style, you know. And if Klee, if they're doing the same thing with Klee until they get an actual limited uh, unit. Um, that only comes around on their own banner. I'm not sure what they're going to be doing. Treat it like it is going into the natural summons and just, you know, do light summons on it. Try to get her. If not, you'll get her later. However, that works. If Klee actually does become limited, then I would say try and get her. I doubt that they would put two limited characters back to back, but we'll 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 have to see. So as far as going into the regular rotation of the regular summoning banner, um, I would say assume that that's what's going to happen with Klee. Because she, while she is busted, this doesn't seem like a, a limited, you know, style character. So we just got to keep our eyes on it. But 100% do summon because she will be a very, very, very good addition to your team, even without the constellation. So they should really give us like some type of material to like up up constellations because not everybody can summon all the time. Epic seven did it. This game should too. But anyway, let me know down in the comment section what you guys are going to be summoning for Klee. If not, how, what's your thoughts? What your feels about it? If you don't think she's busted, if you don't agree with me, let me know. I love the interaction, guys. I'm here to talk anyway. I will see you guys in the next Genshin Impact video. It's me, your boy, Mikey JTV, and the mother of the place to be. As always, guys, peace.